everyone. Welcome to another video on my channel. My name is Marshall3498 and today's motor vlog is going to be a review and a writing review and an owner's perspective of, uh, let's see if I can get far enough back here, of the exhaust that I put on my bike. It is a Yoshimir R77 uh, slip-on. It's just from the right after the cat, the little short mid-pipe and the muffler on each side. Uh, this bike has uh, dual exhaust, one on each side, because it is a force owner. So I thought I'd get you some uh, owner's impression and a motovlog style of the owner's view of this uh, exhaust that I put on my bike. And first thing I'll say starting off is I bought this exhaust in my own money. Uh, nobody sent it to me or paid for it or gave me a discount code or anything like that. Uh, but this exhaust uh, is uh, quite pricey, but I have a feeling in this world unfortunately you get what you pay for but the exhaust uh, compared to the stock one is uh, really easy to put on there's literally one exhaust bolt uh, pinch bolt for the exhaust mid pipe and uh, one bracket to mount the muffler and then you put uh, to install it on the mid pipe on the muffler there's a spring tool it comes with you have three springs on each uh, exhaust and that's it and a little cover uh, that says Yoshimir on it to hide where the mid pipe connects other than that uh, really simple install I would say even taking the old one off and putting the new one back on and getting out of the box maybe an hour and a half total super simple uh, if you could change the oil on a bike uh, you could put one of the slip-on systems from Yoshimir on on yourself even if it's not an FJR 1300 like I ride uh, I, this is my second exhaust I put on, uh, put an exhaust on my FC6, and it was pretty easy too, but it was a little more involved. Um, but, never had a Yoshimir, uh, on there, on a bike, and so I thought I'd just give you an owner's impression, an owner's view of it. Um, mine do have the, um, do have the DB Killer, um, whatever you want to call it, uh, quiet core insert, whatever, installed. So mine's the quietest it can be. And, you know, it is louder than the stock one, but it's not super loud, at least on this bike. Um, you know, yes, you can tell it does have exhaust on it, riding it, but it's not really annoying loud or something that drones on you, that really gets on your nerves. Really the only time you can really tell that big of a difference, I think, after riding it now uh, three four weeks with it on here is um, you can tell a noticeable difference with it idling just the noise of it instead of just hearing just the motor you actually hear a little exhaust note compared to the stock one and when you really rip on it uh, get it up in the RPMs it does uh, you know it's quite quite a bit louder than of course uh, but just regular riding just cruising you can tell it's there but it's not really annoying or overly loud or anything like that and it does have a good sound to it I don't know how much of that's gonna pick up on the GoPro or not but it does sound well and I'm pretty impressed with it so I thought I'd give you all the owners if you want like I said uh, is it worth the money uh, oh yeah uh, for the quality it is uh, this bike you know each muffler on this at least is completely 100% carbon fiber uh, not anything fake and you can literally touch it uh, just the muffler part not the mid pipe you can literally touch it if your hands a little bit cold like on a chilly morning you can literally touch it just a couple minutes after it's cut off and it's just barely warm uh, so you know there's some other things I think that has some uh, pros to that too one is uh, you know like on this bike each of your mufflers are fairly close not really close but they are on each side of the rear tire so in summertime temps that could compare to the stock one maybe uh that could help uh, keep your tire from getting as warm compared to the stock exhaust um probably runs a little cool in the stock exhaust because stock exhaust on this was all stainless but uh it did have a heat shield like over the muffler too but i'm sure you know that it, it makes a difference as far as you know run temps and just the heat of the tire you got the swing arm back there that's around and the rear shock and all that stuff so that probably makes a little bit of difference does it matter a whole lot probably not but it's a good idea i think um so 
you know, and it does have uh, it does have a little burple to it on uh, down revs. I don't know if you can hear that in the GoPro or not, but it does have a little bit of that. A regular riding like this, like I said, you can tell there's exhaust on there, but it's not overly loud at all. It just has a different tone and a little bit louder than stock. I'm sure, if you pull out the DB DB killer uh, or the baffle, as some people like to call it, it's probably much louder. But eh, I just want it just so cars can hear me a little bit more and make the bike sound a little better. I don't want it to be like annoyingly loud, just like roaring in my ear. Uh, my last bike, my ST6, it didn't come with a quad core insert in it. And that was a uh, Two Brothers carbon fiber edition, completely carbon fiber mufflers. And it was Undertale. And it without the quad insert on it was crazy loud. Like you just, first time I rode it, riding to work on the interstate, it was just like, roar, my ear. And I was like, oh my Lord. And it, it was pretty annoyingly loud. Uh, so that got a quad core insert uh, very quickly. To say the least this uh with the insert in there it's perfectly fine it's not annoying like i said uh fit finish of it is excellent of the parts and the pieces by the way everything fits and uh, i'm really impressed with it and i would recommend anybody looking for an aftermarket exhaust uh, especially for any kind of import bikes uh to look in the yoshi line and see if they have something available uh you won't be disappointed so on that guys that's just kind of a motor vlog slash owner's review uh thought I'd let y'all know about that. Once again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments down below, and I would be more than happy to answer them for you. Uh, sorry, there's mud in the road. I want to make sure it wasn't wet. Um, but, um, like I said, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And uh, if you've got any comments, feel free to do that also. So, on that, guys, uh, ride safe. Uh, have fun. If you've not already done so, please subscribe down below and turn on the bell. I'd really appreciate it as uh, I'm trying to grow the channel this year. Getting really close to 400 subscribers. Uh, just like 17 away now and I'd really love to get there soon. So, on that guys, uh, have fun. Ride safe. Like I said, we'll see you on the next one. See ya.